Welcome to Asian E Endurance Series Season 2 Interview Segment. I'm your host, Zachary Mosell. Today, we'll be talking to... Josh Perwin. We saw your car just made straight to the wall. We're like, no! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Your thoughts at that point in time. Yes. So I remember. I remember at the time I was. Um, I was. I think uh, right behind me as well. I had Russell Reyes right behind me. So my, I was worried that if I didn't really make a move on him, Russell would try and make a move on me as well. So I kind of just. I got the run on him. So I was kind of hoping that. I, it was just, I think, a risk that I kind of had to take because I know that I was fighting a leaf in the championship at that point. My theory was because Iman had or, and the build already both got disqualified that race and I had a bit of a poor race one. So I thought that I probably got to try and get ahead of him to at least get third place in the race. So I took a bit of a risk and he kind of turned in on me a bit, but... Yeah, it happens sometimes. If if I hadn't if I hadn't got the thirty six incident points up to that point, I would have been fine. But so I can't really blame him for the DQ. But yeah. But on lap one, um, I made up a really good start actually from my position. I was kind of the leader of the championship contenders by a lot. But then I even made a bit of a kamikaze move into the braking zone, pushing the bill, and they both kind of like flung into the field. And I was the driver that kind of got, I think later in that, down that straight, I got spun from that. So I was dead last after that. So I think to get to that position, like the third or fourth position I was at that point was a good comeback considering like I'm not that fast in the WTCR car. So I was quite, I was quite happy to make the comeback by that point, especially like I got, I think I got 20 of those instant points on lap one from that one move, those one or two moves that I'm in and Nibble made. So <laughs> That <laughs> was fun. I was trying to manage that for the rest of the race, but it was scary because like um, I was trying to overtake the driver ahead of me and he kept on kind of like swiping across me. So I couldn't really make a move on him, but I also had Russell behind. And I know that Russell's a really aggressive driver. So he's the type of driver that will go for a move if there's a gap kind of thing. So yeah, I kind of yeah. just had to, I was kind of just playing it the entire race, just trying to make sure that I didn't get disqualified. But then I stuffed <laughs> up. It, it happens sometimes. It happens. What happened in race three? No, because we, right. we were watching the screen and all of a sudden yeah. we saw your car was badly damaged and you no, know, we, we heard rumors saying that you missed your braking point, you crashed your engine. I, I want to listen. What what exactly happened? All right. all right, so I was going through one thirty R and I kind of went wide after the exit, but um, because I was trying to chase down Iman and Iman's like really really good in WTCR car. It's kind of his specialty, while the WTCR car is kind of my not specialty. So trying to keep up with him was a massive challenge. But then I went wide at 130R trying to like get everything perfect. And then I kind of made a slight uh, boo-boo. Um, I went down to the braking zone, but I still had, you know, a bit of, I think, like rubber on my, or not rubber, like uh, dirt, dirty stuff on my tires. So when I tried to go into the braking zone, I had a small lockup and I missed the corner. And there was kind of walls at the front, like that's, you know, stop people from straight lining it. But my theory was that if I, because the only chance I had of trying to keep that position was to see if I could fit through that gap. <laughs> and I didn't feel <laughs> my theory was it too because I had to stay ahead of Nabil to have a chance at the championship so I thought I'm it kind of looks like it might have just fit through the gap but <laughs> my judgment was wrong and I went straight smack bang into the wall so I was really unfortunate I was really annoyed at myself after that one Oh, I was in um, I was in Discord with Alif at the time, and um, because me, Nikib, and Alif were in the same team, so we kind of like we talked during the races and um, through a lot of the AES races, and we were like um, having some fun during the races as well. So I was in the Discord. And I kind of knew that when I made the mistake, he was going to get the championship, but. Um, I wasn't expecting to keep the championship lead, if that makes sense, because I kept on getting all my points through the mystery rounds, because it's like, as I, I think, as I said, my WTCR skills, they're okay, but they're not up to scratch compared to, you know, I am an Akeem, whatever. I think you saw it in round one, like I, I played a consistent round and I got like fifth, sixth, fifth, uh, consistent fifth. So I was, I was kind of not expecting to keep the championship lead, but now knowing that I could have kept the championship lead without those like mistakes, it's very, it's a bit frustrating, but um. Like, if I wasn't expecting to keep the championship lead, I guess, so it wasn't, like, the end of the world in my mind, but in, now that I know that, like, if I'd played my cards a bit better, I would have got the championship, it was frustrating afterwards when I was doing the math in my head. <laughs> uh, for season two, um, how would you rate your overall performance? 
Um, I'd say a lot better than I expected um, because I wasn't expecting to be as competitive in the WTCR car. Like I, I wasn't, you know, the fastest driver, but considering how weak I was in the car at the start of the season, I wasn't expecting to kind of, especially, you know, in race two where I went from, I think, back, well, I was at the back after lap one to fighting for third. So I think that I was happy in terms of that I got what I wanted to. I got a lot faster in the WTCR car and I had a lot of fun along the way. So um yeah I guess I was kind of happy with my performance I'm not ha I'm ha not happy that I didn't get the championship now that I know that I had the chance to get the championship but I wasn't expecting to be fighting for the championship at the start of the season so yeah that's cool it's cool I guess I was at least in the fight so yeah it was um like I'm I'm fast in a lot of cars it's just I've always struggled with the front wheel cars for some reason like I was going to attempt WTCR Asia Esports competition last year but my I didn't feel like I was up to scratch like I was doing the qualifiers for it and I was like barely getting like top 15 kind of thing so um I thought that this would be a good chance you know I could race with my friends because a lot of the drivers in this series are my friends like as I said like I either did the races like in a voice chat with the Blue Steel drivers or I did it with the Leaf and Nakib towards the end of the season so um, it was a good way to kind of just play and um, practice with my friends and do the races with my friends. And in the end, I've got faster in the car, so it's a win. For season two, who do you find uh, is the most challenging competitor for you this uh, this time around? It's tough because I race a lot of these guys on, again, like all, all the time as well. So um, in order to specifically for AES, I would say probably... Um, I would say I'm an owner build because I found that um, their pace was really, really good in the WTCR. So like, for example, so for me, Alif and Nikki, we're more like the real world drivers. Like we're the, we drive like basically anything except we struggle with the TCR cars. So um, yeah, I guess it was, it was a struggle for us to be able to keep up with Nabil and Iman because they were very, very quick in the car. So that was a fun challenge for the entire season. Uh, what was your most uh, memorable racing moments? Now, there are two, two areas I'm looking at. One as in uh, a, a positive one, meaning like you got an awesome uh, takeover, a great race, and the other is where you stuff up badly. <laughs> I stuff up badly. All right, so stuffing up badly would have to be the last race probably. <laughs> that but um, in um, terms of my good results, I was very surprised by my round two because I kind of wasn't expecting anything because I had done not much practice, like I'd kind of just got home. But then as the session kind of progressed, I was getting a lot faster and I got the win in race two, I think. Uh, I started first though, so <laughs> first to first. Um, I spun along the way, but I managed to get there. But then in the third race, um, I got a penalty afterwards. But in terms of, I went from last to first on track, so... Um, I think that that was a pretty cool memory, just having fun overtaking the entire field. So I would say that's kind of like my favorite memory from the series because the Formula Junior was a really fun car to drive. So I'd like to wish you uh, good health, uh, take good care of yourself and whatever you're, you're doing right now in terms of, of your race and that you achieve whatever you want to achieve. <laughs> yeah, see right, ya. See you, bye.